This is the leader of Iran. He seems to want a nuclear bomb. This is the leader of America. He doesn't think that's such a good idea. So to figure it all out, they tried to make a deal. Welcome to a short instructional video, how to con America and get a nuclear bomb. Okay, so let's say you're Iran and you need to run a con on America. Where do you start? Well, the first step in any good con is to earn the trust of your mark. And you can't establish trust when this guy is the president. You'll need a bit of a makeover to get the process started. So make sure that this guy gets elected. Moderate cleric Hassan Rouhani is Iran's new president. He is known as a reformist. But is Rouhani really a reformist? About 470 people have been executed in Iran since he took power. And who's the guy behind the curtain that's really pulling all the strings? The supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. ملت‌های مسلمان در همه نقاط عالم مرگ بر آمریکا میگن. Step number two: Don't be afraid to lie. Tell the world your nuclear program is for peaceful purposes. Our program is exclusively peaceful, has always been, and will always remain exclusively peaceful. Iran is uh, pursuing peaceful objectives. Keep repeating your story, and the world will conveniently ignore the fact that the head of the UN Atomic Agency has strong evidence that Iran's nuclear program is not for peaceful purposes. Iran has carried out activities relevant to the development of nuclear explosive device. It is my duty to alert the world. The next step is the good old bait and switch. Make them believe you're agreeing to reasonable concessions, and then don't. Here's a good example. In the interim agreement reached in April 2015, Iran said they would allow inspections of all their nuclear sites. We do not intend to cheat. That led President Obama to assure the world that international inspectors will have unprecedented access not only to Iranian nuclear facilities, but to the entire supply chain that supports Iran's nuclear program. Now that they've taken the bait, make the switch. Tehran has repeatedly stressed that it will not allow inspections of its military facilities. Step four is to identify their weakness and exploit it. America believes that diplomacy is the ideal way to solve all major problems. Diplomacy ends wars, saves lives, spreads freedom all around the world. And therein lies their weakness, because America mistakenly believes that Iran shares their values and that they also want peace. Ma, as jang ba Amerikai ha, istiqbal mi konim. Amerikai ha, ba engalab islami dushmanan, ba jomhuri islami dushmanan. Now, because America believes in the goodwill of all people, they'll do almost anything to keep you at the negotiating table. So stay tough, and you'll find that they'll even be willing to move their own non-negotiable terms, their so-called red lines. Originally, America said that Iran must close the Iraq and Fordow nuclear facilities. They said that Iran should stop all nuclear enrichment, and they insisted that Iran should have only 1,500 centrifuges. But because you were tough, Iraq and Fordo will not be closed. None of those measures include closing any of our facilities. Because you were tough, you can now continue enriching uranium. We will continue enriching. And because you were tough, you get to keep more than 6,000 active centrifuges. So there will be no destruction of centrifuges? No, no, not at all. And if they try to act tough? If Iran violates the deal, sanctions can be snapped back into place. You just show them who's boss. If people are worried about snapback, they should be worried about U.S. violating its obligation and us snapping back. And that is a point that the United States should be seriously concerned about. Congratulations! With these four easy steps, you have successfully conned the United States of America. So, despite your double talk, appalling human rights record, 
worldwide sponsorship of terror and your genocidal calls for the destruction of America and Israel, you are now well on your way to getting a nuclear bomb. <laughs>